Alrighty, everybody. It is news time once again. Uh, so, very short news this week. Obviously, it's an off week, so no new banner or anything this week, of course. Uh, if, if it's anything like the JP patch notes, it's only going to be one new event, but uh, we'll go over it regardless, because I do like to go over every single patch note. Don't really care what it is. Uh, Hour-long maintenance, so you are, are pretty much can already tell by that that it's not gonna, really going to be anything super crazy, but... Uh, one interesting thing is that if you're a high-end PvP player and you are missing any of the uh, PvP exclusive top 100 characters, they are bringing back the OG Hellbrum, which is actually really cool, um, but... If you've ever tried to participate in top 100, if you're if you're not a super high-end PvP player who's already done it in the past and you're like, hey, this might be a really good opportunity to try, um, I wish you the best of luck. I honestly do. I, I hope you can do well enough to get this character because whenever they brought Waylo back the last time, I tried to go for it and a lot of other YouTubers tried to go for it. Um, and top 100, probably the worst game mode <laughs> ever made for pvp like it's legitimately so annoying to play i cannot state that enough so i do hope that you have a a, a good chance i uh, they are there are pvp rules i don't know if these apply to top 100 or not i don't think they do but i could be wrong on that um but yeah you have to place in the top three if you want to get like a good amount of copies and diamonds for it but um it's really really sweaty not a fun time if you're if you're even worried about the character i understand like as a collector it can be really annoying to not have characters and everything but they've actually made it to where the top 100 pvp characters don't even show up in your box so don't think that this is like a brand new character that's not in the game or anything he's been in the game but he's just really a collector's item and he's really bad <laughs> like he's literally got zero use um we can, I guess we could look at his kit if we really wanted to, just out of curiosity once this is over. Um, but, uh, yikes. <laughs> I know they have changed Top 100 a little bit recently, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe this is the uh, the first season that they're doing with the changes. But uh, I think they took maybe a week or two out of the seasonal rankings or something. I know, I think you had to do it for like three weeks in a row or maybe four weeks in a row. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, you had to like, you had to place in the Top 100 several weeks in a row if you wanted to get a character originally i i don't think it's one week but they, i think they've changed it a little bit since the last time that they've done uh an actual top top 100 pvp reward so maybe that'll make things better but i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not trying for it it's <laughs> it's a lost cause i don't care um new events we are getting the event tower of trials that is going to correspond with this new uh third year anniversary which is really nice uh, just because these Tower of Trials are super easy, very, very easy. I don't even know if I'm going to make a guide on this one, just because I'd rather make videos on other things this week, but maybe. I don't know if I'm really bored, but they're super, super easy to beat. Uh, and if you're unaware, they give out a ton of Super Awakening coins. So this is really, really nice. Uh, it looks like you get a total of 10, 20, 30 Super Awakening coins, which is honestly like a, a good chunk of super awakening coins so that'll get you ready for hopefully any sort of collab or anything that might be happening soon so um yeah definitely take that into consideration save these while you can because obviously if you were not around during uh, a lot of people think it's going to be the aot collab if it's a new collab <laughs> that's four new characters you have to power up if it's the old collab if you already have the characters it's only going to be two characters that you have to power up but if it's uh, you know, if you don't have those characters, then it's six characters that if you get all of them, you'll have to power up. So, uh, you might want to save your materials for now, but, uh, this is a really nice, uh, just chunk of materials in general. So really happy with these always like, I mean, really easy. They're a little bit, it, it takes like 30 minutes or so to get through them. Um, if you're like really grinding, you can get it done in less, but, uh, just, I mean, honestly, good, good reward uh, to time ratio, if I've got to be honest with you, so definitely do those. Uh, we're getting one new battle event, of course, and then they are changing up the Knighthood competition schedule, and then uh, there was one bug fix. This was the same bug fix that they had on JP as well, where something was going on with uh, Brunhild's Holy Relic and the way Jenna's Unique activated, so whatever. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much the whole thing. I don't really have anything else to go over besides we'll look at the helper really quickly but if you're if you're new to the channel or anything like that obviously these are short patch notes but we go over them every week we do content every day uh feel free to subscribe if you're new or anything like that because uh you know 
It's fun. I don't know. It's free. You can unsubscribe later. I don't care. Do whatever you want. It's not my. It's not my YouTube. <laughs> but uh, either way, uh, let's look at Hailbroom really quick because I am kind of interested. I haven't looked at this character in a really long time. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Passive is when the hero has four or more ultimate move gauge. Uh, allies are immune to stun, petrify, and freeze, which actually is kind of cool. Not that you ever really have to deal with any of these uh, much. I mean, stuns is kind of sort of relevant at the moment with like goddess liz maybe uh but not on the normal basis i wouldn't say uh every once in a while the meta will turn around where there will be a freeze unit or something but petrification is very rare i would say even in regular meta uh he has a poison card which you know is bad <laughs> because poison is terrible uh and he has a cleanse wow it actually grants debuff immunity on level one that's actually really nice um, only on one ally, and then it becomes all allies on level 3, and then it increases basic stats on level 2 and 3. I mean, it's not awful, I guess. His, uh, his ultimate is, um, inflicts damage equal to 400% of attack on one enemy, and then freezes them for one turn. So, his passive is literally, like, to help out against other Hellbrums <laughs> that you're gonna face, but who's running Hellbrum, realistically? So... Uh, he's really bad. He's literally just a collector's item. His stats, you can see, are abysmal. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just kind of a fun, like, collector's item character, of course. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one.